welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at NAS for free. Let's get started. All right, we've got our virtual machine running, and we'll move over to the graphical interface. We're on our main status page, and we need to configure our disks. Go to Disks and Management. And our disks are displayed but we need to prepare those disks for use by the system. So we're going to go to hard drive format, select the disks we need to format. We're going to format them as a ZFS storage pool. We select next. Supply a volume name. Create a GPT partition for the drives and go ahead and format. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, you will get some status information back and also that the web page shows activity down at the bottom left corner. When the activity is stopped and the status messages have concluded, we can move on to the next step. Okay. Now we are formatted with the ZFS storage pool file system. We move on to virtual device creation. Click the plus button for add. Supply a name. And a description. And select the devices you want to work with. We're going to choose RAID Z2 and OK and apply and we've now got our virtual device created. And we'll move on to management. And again, we go to the plus button to add, supply a name, and a description, and select our virtual device and click add and apply changes and we can now see our free space and capacity and the total size and the fact that it's online Now that we've got our volume created, we need to add a user. We go to Access, Users and Groups. Click the plus button to add. Type in the name, which would be the username. The full name of the person. Password goes in twice. 
We can look at the rest of the options for primary and secondary groups. And we click add and apply changes. And we can see that our user is created. Now we need to enable file sharing. We're going to use SIFS or SMB. We need to enable, select the authentication method, which local is fine for our purposes. A server max protocol, we're going to set it to the newest, the Windows 10 version of Samba 3. The minimum, we're going to set to Samba 2. And then we do the same thing for client. The reason for not choosing versions of Samba older or SMB uh, older than SMB2 is because of security issues. Now, if you know that your environment is going to use newer clients, then you may want to change that. Looking through the rest of the settings, we can scroll down and click save and restart. And we should be all set to go. Now we move over to the shares tab. We click plus to add a share, supply a name, A comment select the path and we can pretty much leave all the other options alone yes the comment is required I did not catch that on the first time through so add your comment and click add and apply your changes and your share is created moving over to the finder on the Mac we can see that our NAS for free is in fact listed our share is listed we can click connect as and use the username and password that we had previously entered on the NAS for free virtual machine. And now, clicking on our shared folder, we can add a new folder. Give it a name. And we can go and grab some random files and drag and drop them over. And they populate over onto the NAS for free shared folder. Moving over to the Windows side of things, we can do the same basic activity. We open up Windows Explorer. And we can quite simply put in the double backslash and the IP address of our NAS for free device and it will ask for credentials to connect supply the credentials that we created earlier in the process and we see our shared folder and the test folder we created we can create a new folder and title it Windows test and then we can
go to documents again copy some somewhat random files them onto our shared folder. All right. Jumping back to the finder on the Mac, we can navigate to our file share on the NAS for free VM and we can even open one of the files that was copied over from the Windows box and that should open here in just a moment Network capture is loading in Wireshark. Take just a moment to pop up the details. And there we go. This was captured on the Windows machine. And it opens just fine on the Mac. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos. Have a great day.